p.m. We're pleased to be here with our first million dollar author, David Sousa. David, could you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here at the NCPM conference? Yes, yes, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to uh, introduce a new online program we're going to have uh, at Corwin Responsory called How the Brain Learns Mathematics. So I'm going to do a presentation uh, this afternoon, giving some introduction as to what we're learning from cognitive neuroscience on how the brain processes numbers and how teachers at all grade levels can use that information to be more successful in developing strategies to help their kids learn. We've got information on how to work with kids who are having uh, math problems, who have difficulty in math, who are gifted in math, and also one of the biggest challenges we have working with students for whom uh, English is not their native language. So I'm very excited to be here. It's my first NCTM conference, and I'm looking forward to sharing my information with them, and hopefully they'll sign up for the online course later this year. Excellent. We know you've written several books for us, um, both How the Brain Learns and then the subsequent How the Brain Learns Math and How the Brain Learns ELL. Could yes. you tell us a little bit about How the Brain Learns Math and what strategies and math um, educators can find in those books? Sure. Uh, what I've done is take on the research we've got, had the latest, latest research we have, take a look at what if that what part of that research applies to what happens in math classrooms, and then uh, translated that into practical strategies. And we separated the book into uh, three areas. Um, teaching math to young primary grade students in preschool, uh, teaching math for uh, pre-adolescents, that would be middle school and upper elementary grades, and then the challenge of teaching math in high school, where students have so many other things that they're trying to learn at the same time. So we divided it that way because as the brain develops and grows, so we, we can do more sophisticated strategies, of course, um, to as the kids move up the grades. Um, and then, of course, we also talk about how to deal with students who have math difficulties and students um, uh, who are gifted in math, how we can encourage them to move ahead. Wonderful. We're looking forward to your session later today. Thank you.